I've always wondered how we got to um, the point of incarcerating children in, in this place. And just understanding how language has changed over time, but the system didn't change at all. And these carceral system still stayed the same no matter what the name of these places were. A lot of the work that I do in my art practice is a reflection of the work that I do as a prison abolitionist in my work at Sisters Inside. My name is Benetta Marie Marbo. I'm a Miriam Mumbra and Nawagi woman. I am many things. I'm a mother, I'm an artist, I'm a prison abolitionist, and I work specifically with girls that are in prisons, um, youth prisons, or um, in the community. I applied to Aboriginal Art Co for the safe space residency, which has been a great experience. I've been able to create a body of work that is connected to the work that I do in my day job at Sisters Inside. Having this uh, residency and being accepted to do this residency and especially being a safe space in a safe, I feel like it was fitting for me to create this work that I've created for this. So in designing the seed packets, I looked at vintage um, seed packages and I recreated the same kind of imagery, but changed the language and the words from like seeds and plants and those kinds of things to actually what the institutions were with the dates and how long they were open and what they were known for. I used poppy seeds to make a uh, comment to the different acts that affected Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. I also wanted them to be all poppy seeds and not to be different because I wanted to make comment that even though each institution's name was changed, they still continue to be the same. And I think it was important to have a gendered lens because not many people talk about girls specifically. I didn't want the representation of girls to be brutal like what they've experienced already in these systems. And I wanted the viewer to feel comfortable enough to lean in and to actually see what they are looking at and read what they are looking at to then stay connected to what I wanted to share. I think this body of work is very important because it's important that we look back on history and how we created these institutions and that we still continue to do them. And we actually have new prisons that are being proposed, but not calling them prisons or detention centers. We're using a new word now, which is like healing centers. But we know that looking at history, that these things will still continue to be the same. And I think it's important that there is something like this body of work to be a visual to show that these things need to change because we do not need children in prisons.